Okay, I got interested in Carveras in 62. My first car, my first Carvera was a 62 four-door sedan. I really liked it. I knew they made Carvera trucks and vans. And after I traded that one off in 64, I've always had cars in my second vehicles. About 10 years ago, I found a Carvera truck from down in Missouri. It was green and white. I purchased it from the original owner, restored it, kept it for eight years and sold it. Picked up this one about four years ago. It had been out into a farm out in Kansas, sitting in a dry barn for about 18 years. A friend of mine went out and bought it and brought it back. After four months, he decided he didn't want it. So I bought it from him. I figured it hadn't been started for about 22 years. So I went through the engine. Redid the car, the carburetors, redid all the uh, spark plugs, put oil down the holes, changed everything, cleaned everything, put it together, started off. Been running good. It does only have 24,900 miles, actual miles on it as it does this day. So really, I guess you could say I'm a, the second owner as far as it being driven. And uh, it is all original. There's nothing, nothing been changed on it at all. Except the seat, we did have to have the seat upholstered and we couldn't find the original upholstery. So it does have a, a different seat in it. But the painted hubcaps, painted bumpers, all original. The truck is just as you see it today. That's the way it came out in the factory. This truck is just a standard truck. has absolutely no options at all. It has one sun visor. It did not come with a cigarette lighter or a cigar lighter as they called it at that time. Uh, the radio was option. Okay, we open the ramp, lay it down. It has a rubber molding along the side to keep it from scratching up when you're loading it. It worked perfect, a wheel, anything you wanted to up inside of it. Rear tailgate opens up just like the ramp does. It has a 164 cubic inch engine, 80 horsepower is the standard truck engine, two carburetors, So rather than get, if you want to change your oil, you don't have to take the motor cover off. You open up the little door in the back, service it. Has the oil dipstick and the oil fill tube is in the same. To change the filter without getting into the engine from the top. Get underneath, change your oil, and do everything without taking the motor cover off. This truck set in a barn in Kansas, a nice dry barn for about 18 years after the elderly gentleman got sick and it sat in the barn until his wife decided to sell it years ago. A friend of mine went out, bought it, and brought it back. After he had it for about three or four months, he decided he didn't want to fool with it, so I bought it from him. Hadn't been run for about 22 years. So I went through everything. Put in new plugs, cleaned it, put oil down through the cylinders, took the carburetors off and cleaned them, rebuilt them. Got it all back together and it's right. Then it started dying on me again, so I'd take the tank off. The tank had dirt in it. And after I put the tank back on that, I haven't had any problem. It runs like a dream. It's only got 24,900 original miles. Solid, it's never had any rust through it. I see no rust whatsoever on it. Had some scratches in it, so I had some paint work done to it. Fixed the spots and scratches, and fixed spots on bodies. The bumpers, they were scratched up a little bit. Had them repainted. Just been a good truck. Drives and handles like a dream. It's fun to drive it when you first start driving these things to pull into a parking place and you're so close to the parking block you end up parking two or three feet back. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to that that you can pull up you really have a feeling of that. This truck was basically designed with the fact to be a delivery vehicle with a ramp laying down on the side. You can pull up to a curb, lay the ramp down. There was trucks around in this area at that time. There were two of them and they were both green and white were owned by furniture stores. 
back in 61, 62, and 3. We see these trucks running around town with stoves and refrigerators sitting in the back of them. Even the chairs, couches that go up over the back, whatever it took. Yeah. They haul anything in them. That was before the hydraulic tailgate come along. Here's an old farmhouse up here. Crops are around in Illinois basically are corn, beans, wheat, too far north for cotton. That's the three major crops these farmers have out is corn, wheat, and beans. Such a small motor, it really wasn't made for doing much highway driving. Either about 60, 65 mile an hour, top speed on these. Uh, with this, uh, with the small engine there, and the trucks are geared so slow, they're yeah. geared low. 